Today we will learn Dijkstra short spot. And to make things easier, we will use something everyone respects and loves. Women. Yeah. This is how it goes. We start with the most perfect person in the world. Me. And now we have all of my girlfriends. We have Lana, Pokey, and Sophia. And because I'm Amanda Loves the Earth, I keep track of how many gas liters it takes me to visit each one of them. And we end up with something like this that I like to call a booty map. Now let's pretend it is nighttime. And you know I feel lonely and needy and I want to go out to get some, some hugs. But you know I don't have enough gas in my tank, so I would like to know which is the shortest path that I can take to visit them all. And how do we do that? We use Dijkstra, you little b**** This is how it works. We have two sets. The first one keeps track of the shortest path between my house and all my girlfriend's houses. We initialize all of them as infinity except mine that we initialize as zero. Because from my house to my house, it's zero. The other set keeps track of all the houses we have visited so far. So we start with me. So I mark myself as visited. Now I need to update the distance set with all of my adjacent houses. That means all of the houses that I can reach directly from mine. In this case, we have Pokey, Lana, and Riley. So we go, is six less than infinity? Yes, so we update it. And we do the same thing with Lana and Riley. Now I need to select the shortest path of all the houses that I haven't visited yet. And the shortest path so far belongs to Pokey, like my heart. So we add Pokey to the visited set. Now we need to repeat the process with Pokey's adjacent houses. Now to go from my house to Pokey's and from Pokey's to Lana's, it takes 6 plus 3 equal 9. Quick math. Is that less than 12? Yes, so we update the set. Now we need to repeat all that process until we have visited all my girlfriend's houses. And that's Dijkstra's shortest path, you f***ing nerd. Now that you get this, let's go code it. So if you have watched all my videos so far, I think you can figure it out that I'm also a f***ing noob. So I'm gonna keep using Java. So before we start coding, let's take a look at this. This is our adjacent site. Adjacency? How do you say that? Adjacency. Adjacency matrix. This is what we're gonna use for our function. All right, so let's start by creating our function. I'm gonna call it Dijkstra. And it takes two parameters. The first one is the graph that I'm gonna call booty map. And the second one, of course, is me. So this function returns an array of all the shortest paths from my house to all my girlfriend's houses. First, I will save in a variable the amount of vertices that this graph has. Now let's create the two sets. The first one is the distance sets. And the second one is just the visited set. So let's fill the first one with infinity, in this case just integer that max value. And the second one just with false, because we haven't visited any house yet. Now we have to mark the distance from my house to my house equal to zero. Now let's create the first for loop. For int i equals zero, i less than vertices minus one. So now let's create a function that will tell us the index of a house that we haven't visited yet and has the shortest path so far. I actually already wrote this code and I'm too lazy to rewrite it. This function is called getMinIndex and takes as parameters both sets that we already created. And it basically loops through them checking if we haven't visited that house yet and if it has the shortest path. And we will return the index. So we go back here and then we create a new variable that I just called p and getMinIndex with this and visit it. Now we mark that house as visited, so visited at p is equal to true. Now we need to update the distance set with all the adjacent houses of our current house. So we need a loop for j equals zero, j less than vertices. Now bear with me because we need to verify a lot of conditions. The first one, if we haven't visited that house yet. So if visited at j. The second one, if the house in the loop is different than our current house, that means p. Booty map at p j is different than zero. The third one, if the shortest path of our current house is different than infinity. So if distance at p is different than integer that max value. And the last one, if the sum of the shortest path of our current house plus what is in the graph is less than the actual shortest path. So if distance at p plus booty map at p j is less than distance at j. If all of that is true, we need to update distance at j with the sum. So distance at j is equal to distance at p plus booty map pj. And to finish, we just return the distance array. And that, my friends, is Dijkstra's shortest path and I'm tired as fuck. All right, so I hope you understood all of this and if you didn't, well, f you. So you can leave down in the comments what other algorithm you would like me to explain in a future video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Samuel L. Miller. There I upload a lot of stupid sh** too. Also, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe so you can see this beautiful, magnificent face every single week. And yeah, that's it. Until then, Ciao!